If you own a Jeep, you might be able to relate to the story I'm about to tell you. We've owned this Jeep for three years now, and when we first got it, it wasn't even drivable. We pretty much had to rebuild the suspension. We did all new brakes, brake lines, brake pads, rotors, everything. And we got it so it's a pretty good beat around town Jeep. And in those three years, we've taken this Jeep to the same shop every year for an inspection sticker. And if you live in a state like ours, like Massachusetts, you have to bring your vehicle into the garage and get a safety inspection and an emissions inspection every year. Now this Jeep is old enough, the emissions inspection is really not that big of a deal anymore, but the safety inspection, um, I guess there's some pluses to that because in Massachusetts you can pretty much sit around and listen to your vehicles rust all year round. Anyway, we take the Jeep to the same shop every year for an inspection sticker. And last year they wouldn't give me a sticker because the tires stuck out too far from the vehicle. Now these aren't exactly big oversized mud tires. These are only 265 70R17s, which works out to be like a 32 inch tall tire. The tires barely stick out past this steel fender that was on the Jeep when I bought it. Not only that, the Jeep only has like a two inch lift, which makes this a great little beat around town in the summer vehicle, which is what we use it for. So in order for me to get an inspection sticker, I had to put on these fender flares, these rubberized fender flares. Uh, I had a piece of chunk of rubber. I was mad. I came home. I cut them up into strips. I screwed them out with some tech screws. I went back down to the shop. They put a sticker on the Jeep. This was a cheap, quick, one hour fix. And oddly enough, I don't hate them, but I don't like them either. So today I'm going to try to fix this and make it look just a little bit nicer than it does right now. So now the question becomes how best to do that. I could cut these fenders off, I could space them out, I could weld on a piece of steel, blend it in, sand everything down, repaint it, but that's a lot of work and I don't feel like doing that right now. I could redo these out of rubber and I could try to make them look a little bit better, take a little more time, that might be an option. Or I could try to make these out of rigid plastic such as this eighth inch ABS plastic that I purchased. It's a 24 by 48 sheet. There's more than enough here to do everything. And I'm thinking it might look a little bit nicer than the rubber and it'll never rust. The ability to withstand rust is kind of a big deal for this project. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take these rubber flaps off and I need a 5 16 screw gun. All right, now that we got those things off, this is kind of what we're working with. Got to come up with something that's going to make it look somewhat decent. You can see they do stick out a little bit, but honestly, it's not that bad. All right, so again, I did this when I was mad, and I was out in the or out in the driveway, and it was getting ready to rain, and so we're going to say these are about four inches wide. You can see they're not cut straight, but so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut a four inch strip all the way down and then we'll figure out the rest from there. When you cut it, the blade gets hot enough or it melts the plastic. So, so I'm going to utilize this factory edge. The edge cleans up pretty nice with a grinder. It's not hard. All right, I got this out to two inches, which is what I had before with the rubber. I'm probably gonna have to heat this up to get this to bend up tight like it needs to be. Overall, it doesn't look terrible. All right, I got things all clamped up here. <laughs> I, I took the heat gun, I warmed up that plastic. I clamped it so it would take the shape of the steel fender. I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes. We're gonna take the clamps off. 
This is my cut line for this. I left it a little bit long because I don't really love that, but let's see if I can make it work. And now I got to figure out how I want to terminate this. All right, here's what I came up with. A little radius here is all I'm going to go with. And then up here in the front, I've just kind of taken like a half inch off that. So I don't know how it's going to look. We're going to find out though in a second. Okay, there we have it. Custom fender flares for a, an old 1998 Jeep TJ with steel aftermarket front fenders. Okay, they fit pretty good. They don't look terrible. Not any worse than those rubber ones. All right, I guess I'm gonna try to get those screwed on. We'll see how they go. Okay, there it is. My custom fender flares. Made out of ABS plastic. Okay, there's my version of a plastic fender flare for a 1998 Jeep TJ with a set of steel replacement fenders. I'm not sure if it's any better than the rubber ones, but uh, they look a little bit better, I think. I'd like to know what you think, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make up a, one for the passenger side. And we'll get that one installed, but you don't really need to watch me do that. So I guess that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around to the end, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.